Hello, <clears throat> oh, hello everyone, and welcome to uh, day job. <clears throat> hello everyone, and welcome to day job. I'm your host, Code Marvelous, and wow, I have no voice. Um, well, give me a sec. All right, we're gonna make do. We're gonna be doing some Steve Cambridge Apocalypse. Let's see how we do. So, the basics here are a lot of disposables and high value things to get back with Steve's ability. Uh, Aesop's pawn shop to flip things after the APOC and money that can be um, uh, pawned. Like you can hit Armitage five times and then pawn it the last time. Same with daily casts caches, etc. So let's find ourselves a game and see how we do. Looking back at the deck, um, I think it was Innos, in a in a sore, I N N O S C O R, who suggested caches, which I think is a brilliant idea, to offset drug dealer. Um, we've got a Maker's Eye in there, three Aesops, Tapworm, three Doppelganger, the usual suspects. All right, hopefully, we'll, there we go. Balder, please. Balder, go. then um mm, let's get the link down Okay, let's draw, let's draw. Let's gain a buck, let's gain a buck. Hey, undead. Let's run HQ. Hopefully we don't hit a snare. Let's run R&D. Let's run Archives.
All right. Let's draw some cards. Let's get drug dealer and ace ups down. It's not gonna be the false lead. I mean, that sucks, but it could have been a lot worse. So the whole idea here, I mean, this is a weird matchup because we're up against Argus. Oh, yeah. Hey, Diego Mir, I saw your message. It's 6.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern, so New York time. Yeah, it's Tech Club. I'm going to make another Patreon post about it. All right, so our opponent's not really rising any ice, so I'm going to pawn this Maxwell James. Checks are right. Hey, I can't catch everybody, unfortunately. I would like to. But it's tough. So first things first, let's run HQ, and let's ask for a pawn shop and a pawn shop. Yo dog, I heard you like pawn shops. So I put a pawn shop in your pawn shop so you can pawn shop while you pawn shop. But yeah, so I've been fooling around with Steve. Um, Geist is kind of a known quantity as far as like being a strong criminal. So I'm trying to see what viability there is for other people. 
Um, if that makes any sense to everybody here. Alright. Yeah, um, hey, what's up, Alex? Good to see you. I'm trying out something weird. Um, I've just been, I've been noticing that whenever I'm playing Steve, I have, I think we had this discussion when we talked about your deck. Um, I was doing a ton of hard drawing, and sometimes that meant that I was just, like, not getting to the pieces. So I'm trying out different stuff. All right, let's check that. Yeah, I'll trash that. Let's hit that. We'll pawn it next turn, and then let's get that. And that down. These inside jobs, man, what a value. So, okay. Our opponent is not going to be installing ice, it seems. So, we don't need any ice breakers. Crisis management, another one pointer. Um, let's take a tag. Let's remove the tag. Uh, let's check server 12. Hope it's not a psychic field. Illicit sales. Take the tag. Remove tag. <coughs> yeah, and the nice thing is, is after you apocalypse, when you're not necessarily able to, like, deal with cards... Right, and you don't have like any mitigation. Drug dealer gets flipped, so it's not running right after you apocalypse. Hunter seeker. Well, that's not very friendly. Um. All right, so let's draw. Let's draw. Um. I'd like to find a legwork. I'd like to buy a vow. Uh, let's check fourteen. I'll just take the meat damage here if this is an agenda. It's a prize deck, okay. I'll still take the meat damage. Hostile. Nice. Turn R and D. Turn HQ. Um, I'm gonna say, do you want to give me a sure gamble or an Armitage? Again, I don't think we need icebreakers this game. I'm working very hard for these agendas.
The nice thing about Steve is, is if you still have the ability to get into HQ, he kind of has crappy hit point regeneration against some of these decks. Yeah, you can't have that. Yeah, no turtle backs. We can't have turtle backs in, in your asset or a, like agenda spammy deck. That's not a thing. I still haven't seen Maker's Eye, which is surprising. Well, apparently that's just been on the table the whole time. So that's really rad. Let's just get the turtle down for funsies. This is where I need data dealer. Where's data dealer when I need it? I uh, will take the two meat damage. Thank you. We have eight agenda cards in our scoring area. That's an atlas we just lose, okay. All right, let's draw. Draw. Uh, come on with this. The, let's get rid of that. Take the meat damage. There's the first cash of the game. Is that it? Did we lose? Good game. Strange game, but a good one. So ideally our opponents have more ice than that. So our apocalypse is a little bit more valuable. Boulder, stop clawing me. Oh, good. Excuse me. Okay. So let's draw once. Let's put down cash. Let's put down that. There's a sat con. Obacata is a very tough cookie. Hmm. I don't know. This is my first time playing a deck like this in a long time. I don't know how we play against something like Industrial Genomics. Good morning, Mr. Thomas. And it's on archives. 
two breach domes in the bin already. Wow. Okay. I don't know. If Alex is still here, I would love to hear... Uh... His thoughts on uh, how we navigate our way out of this. Because I really don't think we have much game here. Call me crazy, but I think at least one of these is a stashed agenda. So let's go check it. I'm psychic. I mean, I have to assume that there's a hostile infrastructure down, which basically means we can't ever apocalypse. Right? That's what that means. Does anyone else think that thematically Steve should be a um, a link runner. I feel like. Alright, so there's the hostile. So let's get rid of that right now. Slow and careful, everyone. So we're going to run this synth once and then trash it, and then we'll run the other one, which is probably a synth, and trash it. So... Run. At some point, I should get Doppelganger down. It's a she cube. I guess we're taking it. Our opponent, um, Thegomir, does not have much in the way of economy, which is very good for us. And we've got a very powered up Amakua, which is very helpful as well.
Shipment from Kaguya. What? Okay. So, let's pawn. Run HQ. Um, let's make them decide between giving us a breaker bet. No, I meant to click make reside. That was dumb. Of course, they're going to remove. I want to see what this is. Show me June bug. Cerebral overrider. This one's probably a June bug. Things are weird. You're thinking about resin that K Kaku go. That lucky snare taking out our stuff all right so this time we're gonna say maker's eye actually let's give him the non bargain let's give him cash and cash side grid probably maybe Ben Musashi trash that I love the play of the never-ending cash in this game, or in this deck. Uh, let's do hedge fund and let's do cash and cash again. I would bet one if I was our opponent. So I'll just take that, thank you. Let's go again. Morning, Aubrey. Let's remove the tag. Let's get that down. This drug dealer is working really well for us. Our opponent is getting very lucky in that almost every time we've run HQ, we've hit a snare. So, there's that. Um, so, I don't think we're going to get a tapworm down. 
So let's go ahead and pawn that. Let's draw. Let's draw. And let's... Same old thing, a maker's eye. And we'll hit the third snare. And that's game. Wow, we did it. Sorry, Dagomir. Don't forget everybody who's a patron, 6.30, New York time, Eastern time. Um, Deck Club, we're doing Builder of Nations. Um, the link to that is on the Patreon. It's on my private YouTube. Uh, we'll see you all there. And uh, if you'd like to be a part of the awesome Deck Club where we build a deck together and play it together, uh, take a look at the links in the show notes and consider becoming a patron at any level even a dollar I'm always kind of sick um, I work in the uh, finance world so we work very long hours and have huge blackouts where we can't take sick days or time off so net damage always always be net damaging This is a lot of money, so I guess we're going to keep this. Alright. So let's run R&D. So we gotta basically try to figure out what type of PE this is. Yeah, it's not great. Um, let's get a breaker down before we lose it. So, let's go into server one. Oh, it's the very, it's the very fair P, P E. It's the rush P E. Okay. We're just gonna hammer centrals. Always be hammering. Always be hammering centrals. Yeah, that's what we're doing.
Turtles are good. Alright, let's go R&D. Let's get while the game's good. That's a data loop. 1,000% that's a data loop. HQ. Um, let's do sure gamble and sure gamble. Yeah, I'll take it. That Steve draw coming through in a pinch. Um, for those of you who are like tuning in, who maybe haven't jumped in in a while. Um, I'm putting up the uh, interviews with um, uh, Spags, uh, Greg Tongue. The next one to go up will be Seamus from the UK, or from Scotland, I should say. And then soon I'm going to be recording with the world champion uh, himself. So check those out, uh, deck building d -reses and um, test runs for some of these top 16 finishing competitors. So there's a lot of good information and a lot of good piloting tips in those videos. Let's go back to the deck real quick. So let's talk suggestions. What do people think? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about the makers lot. I mean they did win it did win us a game, so I guess I can't talk too much shit about it. Um it's kind of hard to tell. Because, like, we haven't, like, played against, like, a normal deck yet. And I know that's kind of, like, disingenuous. Because, of course, Jinteki is, like, a normal part of Netrunner. But I mean, um... Like, um... We're playing a lot more hit point games than I anticipated that we would. Uh-oh. Mr. Tom wants a piece. Alright, let's do it. This is a really bad opener. Um, let's mulligan it. That's better, I guess. Uh, good luck, have fun. I mean, okay, if that's what you're into. Get that shit out of there. Get that shit out of here. That's right. 
Let's get the turtle down. Let's run R&D. I'm still getting used. Oh. I'm still getting used to playing with the turtle. Um, shape, the shaper decks that I like to play really don't ever play it. It's a different mindset of like checking servers and how you structure your turns that I'm still kind of getting into the headspace of. But it's cool because it puts a consistent purge pressure on the core. But unless you're something like a Titan a Fast Advance where you're playing... Um, you're playing like two or more CVS anyway, it becomes a real chore to keep Turtle down if you're not like a Glacier. Like if you're any kind of asset spammy or open remote deck, keeping on top of the Turtle counters can be very, very, very hard for you. All right. So let's keep drawing, always be drawn. Let's get James down. Um, let's hit this and let's pitch the other turtle. I really feel like Steve should be a one link runner. Let's draw, let's hit that, let's draw. Ooh, information sifting. Okay, we need more breakers. I'd like to get a fairy. Okay, so, yeah, look at that. Ask and ye shall receive. Um, let's get that down. Okay, um, let's check R&D. <coughs> I want to see what's there. Um, okay, let's make his eye then. Okay, you're just gonna let me have it. Probably gonna punitive me. I wanna info sift. Cause we could just one turn win this baby. We also have apocalypse in hand. Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's get that down. Let's cook that once. Okay. That's the kind of fight it's gonna be. All right. Um. Let's see what's in HQ. Bypass. I mean, it's equally bad. We would have just used Fairy to break it for zero dollars. Well, 
Let's say, do you want to give me this sure gamble back or this daily cast back? Helheim server. Yeah, that's got to go. Can't have. Can't be having that. Still no drug dealers, interestingly enough. <laughs> Luckily, fairy, fairy is pretty good for dealing with these. Ow, the water. Okay. Um. draw let's draw let's put Damara down let's inside job that if this is like an overrider I'm gonna be real mad it's gonna be an overrider I know it oh my god it's an upgrade we're probably still dead because we don't have the drug dealer to keep us safe from punitive yep good game So, it's a pretty interesting experiment for something that's never been played before. I think there is some power here. It's just a very mentally taxing deck. I don't know if there's necessarily a ton of reward for playing something that's as taxing as this is. But yeah, gotta play more carefully, but if we had let them have that, if we had let Thomas have that, and we'd have like two turns to win, I don't know, it's a tough call. We never really got into a position where we could effectively play Apocalypse in any of these games. Um, I don't know, it's so tough. But yeah. So check it out, uh, the deck is in the show notes below. So, uh, just to close, as always, uh, this show and all of the tournament coverage wouldn't be possible without all of the people on this list who support me on Patreon. If you'd like to help the channel continue expanding and, you know, all through Store Champ season, I'm going to be recording and I'm going to be upgrading a couple pieces of equipment thanks to donations. Uh, consider becoming a patron or giving a one-time donation. Uh, I really appreciate all the support from the community. And until we see all of you fine Netrunner humans again, Always be running.